Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about what classes you should be taking in high school if you plan to go to nursing school or medical school or something like that. And we get asked this question a lot so I thought I would throw out a quick video to help some of you out. So the first thing is you want to make sure you're on the college path and a lot of high schools will have something called the college path and then the technical path and you'll take different courses depending on which path you have chosen. So you always want to choose the college path because that will ensure you get those necessary courses like algebra algebra 1, algebra 2, geometry, and all those math and science courses. So that way, when you do go to college, you won't have to take any remedial classes to catch up. So always choose the college path. Next, you want to take as many sciences as you can, such as biology, chemistry, and classes like that. Because once you get to the college level and you're a health science major, you're probably going to have to take those courses. And so it'll be good to help familiarize you with some of the basic concepts. Next, you want to take any pre-med or health science classes that you can. So a lot of high schools will call courses different names, but if your high school offers basically anything health science related, such as medical terminology, first aid or CPR, nutrition, anatomy and physiology, or human anatomy or human physiology, or something like that, you always want to take those courses because, again, it's just going to help familiarize you with the content. So when you do get to college, it's going to be much easier for you. You want to take any courses like child development or speech because that will help you with your communication skills, which is important if you want to become a nurse. And foreign languages because, you know, in some communities you'll have a high population of individuals who speak a different language, like, for example, Spanish or something like that. So you may want to keep that in mind when you take your foreign language classes. Okay, another thing you want to keep in mind is to consider joining some kind of a health club or organization while you're still in high school. My wife was a part of HOSA, for example, when she was in high school. And what this will do is it will help you network a little bit, and it also looks great for college applications. So keep that in mind. Another thing is that you want to go ahead and take any kind of prerequisite courses you can while you're still in high school. And I've known a lot of students, they've actually went ahead and taken some of the English courses at the college level. They went ahead and took those because a lot of high schools and colleges are beginning to work together in that way where you can take some college courses while you're actually still in high school. So if you have the opportunity to do that, I would highly recommend it. And then finally, don't forget about CLEP exams. And I made a video about CLEP exams. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. But a lot of times you can actually test out of a lot of those college courses. So for example, you may want to be doing that when you're in your senior year of high school or during the summer before you actually begin college. You may be able to knock some of those courses out by testing out of them by buying a study guide, practicing a little bit, and then taking some of those CLEP exams. So that's a little bit about how you can prepare while you're still in high school and the classes you should be thinking about taking. I hope that helps you out. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing.